Index tonight turning a negative into a positive. That's what a local group is trying to do after they say they mistakenly broke into a local church that they thought had long been empty. I told you yesterday about Facebook group called Abandoned and Beyond Buffalo, New York, who took photos inside of a historic Buffalo parish that isn't abandoned at all. After recognizing their mistake, I've learned that they're now working to give back to the church community. Just 24 hours after speaking with Reverend Michael Bell Thursday, he and his church community singing a different tune after a sincere apology was issued by the account holders of the Facebook group Abandoned and Beyond Buffalo, New York. It is a criminal activity. So I'm, I was very pleased that they responded. They were sensitive to the concerns. Uh, they responded. They took ownership. Wonderful. At 647 AM Friday, the group sharing their sincerest apologies about what transpired after posting these images from inside of the church, which is under construction. It reads in part, Dear members of the congregation and staff at Durham Memorial AME Zion Church, we at ABBNY wish to extend our sincerest apologies for the recent incident involving our group member at your church. We were not aware that the church was in the process of repair and re use and thus mistakenly assumed it was abandoned. It was a regrettable oversight on our part. We understand the concern and discomfort our actions may have caused. The post also included an ask for people to donate to the church's construction fund via its cash app account, dollar sign DMZC, something Reverend Bell tells me is admirable. I'm just amazed at the wonderful people that we do have in Buffalo and in the greater Buffalo region that have tied themselves to the very mission and vision of this church. I also received a personal reply to my message from Thursday. The account owner emphasizing their intent was solely to document, not to cause harm or intrusion. When asked to speak with me on camera, they did decline, stating their anonymity was important to them for legality reasons. I do understand the need to have that kind of confidentiality for what they're doing. Again, we admire what they're doing, but this time it failed. And so it doesn't give you a pass, but we can work our way through it together. A step in the right direction for this church community with a possible collaboration in the near future with the same goal of appreciating Buffalo history. I just want to thank the cooperation of the police department. I want to thank the, uh, the, uh, the wonderful support of the uh, news department of Channel 7. And at the end of the day, I believe that people when they have the right mind, we can do amazing things, whether it's in Buffalo or any other place.